Jim Bradley from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we're going to show you a novel uh, technique for internal brace of the medial collateral ligament of the knee. The first thing you do is you mark out the medial epicondyle or the origin of the MCL is, which is right here. Uh, it's easily palpable. Typically in the OR, I'll use a floral guided uh, for my uh, points. And then the joint line you can feel, and then two centimeters below the joint line is your second spot. And uh, that's where we're going to do this percutaneous repair. Uh, this, this, is, this supplements uh, a lot of times my uh, BTBs and my ACLs that I do because these uh, young people have a concomitant medial collateral ligament injury, uh, which you don't need to open. You can just do an internal brace over the top. This kit is self-contained. It has everything you need to do it, uh, including the, you know, the guide wires uh, and the swivel locks and the taps. And, and most importantly, actually, believe it or not, is that l the little blue shoehorn cannula. I'm going to make a small incision over the medial epicondyle. I will then make a small incision distally. And then what you need to do is you need to undermine that area. Uh, we we will typically uh, would use um, just a, a hemostat to undermine the area to get on top of the superficial medial collateral ligament. From top and from bottom. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to modify this uh, shoehorn cannula. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to make it so it doesn't move so you can do this percutaneously and not move them, lose your sights. So you make this, you make a little nick in the back and then you trim the sides to into two little points. Like so. And then what you have to do is you have to run down the, the middle of this and widen this. Literally go right down the middle. And the reason for that is it, it helps to pass the fiber tape distally to, to have that run right down the middle. So you widen that slot. Now the next thing you do is you want to use your guide wire, um, your simple guide wire, and you go right in the medial epicondyle like so. We're, we're then going to use the, the drill. Now the tricky part is you take the, the, the sleeve and you simply put it over and you tap it in a little bit. Your assistant holds this in place and now we're going to tap it right down the same hole. Now I need my swivel lock. Then you use the swivel lock and push it in. Engage the swivel lock. So it's completely seated. And typically you can feel it with your finger. You can feel when it's completely seated. And then when it's done, you remove it. Sometimes you may use these sutures to augment the, uh, the repair if that's the side it's torn off, whether it's off the femoral side or the um, uh, distal tibial side. But for this in, uh, case, we're just going to remove that. Then what you can do is you can you take a, a right angle up here, grab your, and then you take this and you put this through here like this right on top of the superficial medial collateral ligament. Now, the next thing you want to do is, is you want to insert your distal one, so you want to pull up on this so it doesn't get caught. Now, under fluoro control, I'm going to know that this is about two centimeters below the tibia, and I'll drill my hole. And then just like above, I'm going to use a drill. Place the drill for my swivel lock. And I really want to make sure that thing stays in there like this. Now, you take that. Now, it, the important thing is the slot has to face the fiber wire or the fiber uh, tape, okay? The slot has to face that and you got to put it in there and really tap it in and keep it right there. Do not let that move because that's the most important part of the case. So then what you do is you take this out, take the loop out, you then put the fiber tape in here you then pull the fiber tape out and load it onto your swivel lock. While he's loading that, I'm going to use my tap. And I'm going to tap, you got to tap these holes because distally, especially distally, they're really hard bone. Fully tap it. Now he's, he's holding this. This is the most important part of this case because he's really holding that.
And now what we do is we gonna put, we're going to take this and we're going to slide it right down this, the, the slot. See the slot's right there? Slide it right down the slot and tap it just a tiny bit to get it in and start it. Okay, now, so you can easily just pop this off. Now the trick is you take a freer. Can I have a freer? And you put the freer underneath the tape. It's underneath the tape, and he's going to hold the freer. Now that's going to give you a little bit of, of um, less tension because you don't want to constrain the knee. So at 30 degrees, about right here, then what I'll do is I'll engage the swivel lock. Okay? Now it's engaged, and I make sure he's got that in there because I want a little bit of give. I want a couple millimeters of give so you don't capture the knee at 30 degrees. You insert this fully. You undo the, the wires. Now remember, if this was torn off distally, I make a make, may make a little bigger incision and use these to incorporate into the uh, distal medial collateral ligament. For this case demonstration, we don't have to do that. So we simply pull these off. Take out the freer and simply cut that off. And that is how you do it. So uh, thank you very much. I found this uh, technique to be very reproducible. It's very uh, quick and easy, especially if you use this cannula so you don't get lost uh, in the side of the knee, especially with some, uh, some of the bigger players that we do.